environment ministers and others. And it's, uh, it's clear to me, even today after that long, and after the formation of some 50 or 60 anti-turbine groups across Ontario, the government has dug in its heels. Even though there is a growing body of evidence that shows these things, too close to where people live, are a health hazard. A year and a half ago, a group called the Society for Wind Vigilance held an international symposium way down in southeastern Ontario. They brought in people from around the world who were talking about the very thing that you're concerned about today, the health effects of wind turbines that are too close to where you live. And the evidence is absolutely right there, staring everybody in the face except the Ontario government will not listen. When you talk to the Ontario government, they say studies have been done. The medical officer of health says there's nothing to worry about. When I asked the health minister herself uh, about those studies, I, I said, but you've got to remember, that's just existing literature. You haven't done anything new. And she said, well, yeah, no, we haven't. And I talked to the minister of the environment, the last one who didn't get re-elected, John Wilkinson. He had the nerve to say in one of my radio studios one day that there had been no complaints to the ministry about the health effects of turbines. We know what kind of baloney that is. The reason, many of you already know, that no official complaints had been noted by the Ministry of the Environment was because if you called up and said, I have a complaint about health effects, they said, oh, we can't take that. Click. Yeah. So no wonder the ministry had no a record of any uh, complaints of health effects. You know that there are health effects. Hundreds of people who have experienced this firsthand know that as well. This is a wonderful crime today. I can only say to you, keep it up. Yeah. Make the next demonstration twice as big. Three times as big. The government has got to listen to this growing chorus from too many, all these people can't be wrong. Yeah. It's not in their heads. Give me a break. Listen to some of the evidence that's out there and do one thing. Actually, hire some people who can do an epidemiological study of the health effects of wind turbines. They haven't done it. They have not done that at all. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I guess that's part of it, isn't it? There are a number of speakers that I that uh, you're going to be very uh, eager to uh, hear from today, uh, and it's uh, most important uh, that you uh, th that you do that, and that you keep up by talking to your MPPs, writing them emails, writing emails to Dalton McGinty, calling up his Dalton McGinty line. Put the pressure on. More and more people will add to the chorus and will hopefully, eventually, mean that the Ontario government will take note, especially in this opposition Queen's Park situation that exists right today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're hoping that, anyway. <laughs> yeah. And to have that study done as well. Now, let's get on with uh, listening to some of the people who are here to uh, speak to us. And here he is, yeah. Greg Small. Yeah. 